customer experience is important. And if Dr. Larry Weed is my hero, then what do you think that this man might represent to a customer experience expert? Does anyone know who this is? It's Michael O'Leary, the CEO of Ryanair. Generally and pretty justifiably, I think, known as the antichrist of customer service. <laughs> <laughs> these are some of the things that he said. I quite enjoy reading these. Will we give you a refund on a ticket because your granny died unexpectedly? What part of no refund do you not understand? Go away. These are actual quotes, by the way. Our website, our approach is that we're cheap, way cheaper than the competition, so people will still put up with almost any amount of irritation, 17 clicks to book a ticket. I'd love to operate aircraft where we take out the back 10 rows and put in handrails. People say, oh, but the people standing may get killed if there's a crash. Well, with respect, the people sitting down may get killed as well. <laughs> Forgot to print your boarding pass? We think you should pay 60 euros for being so stupid. <laughs> Environmentalists, we want to annoy them whenever we can. The best thing you can do with them is shoot them. Now, it's no coincidence that I made these slides on Halloween, so I had a bit of fun. Um, but the problem with Ryanair is that actually this worked, didn't it? From a business point of view, very successful company. One of the Irish... Um, business's most uh, powerful success stories. But back in 2013, the company actually faltered somewhat. They had to issue two profit warnings in the space of two months, which, if any of you have ever been a CEO, that's a very embarrassing thing to have to do. The company was losing ground to other players like EasyJet and a whole host of new people coming in on the market. And they realized that they actually had to do something. And suddenly, um, they embraced customer experience. You might, I don't know if you guys ever fly on Ryanair, you may not have uh, come back to the company since they started this about two and a half years ago. Um, but uh, the company's actually been doing a lot better ever since it decided to create something called the Always Getting Better initiatives. And it's particularly famous because it only took them about four or five months from idea to actually getting it up and running. So what does he say now? We should stop unnecessarily <laughs> pissing people off. Well, you know what? It's not great. <laughs> But it's a start. <laughs> we are taking big doses of humility. We had locked ourselves into a position of we're cheaper, nastier, and we don't care. But there were millions of passengers saying, I don't care how cheap you are anymore. If I'd known focusing on customers would be this successful, <laughs> I'd have done it years ago. <laughs> Yes, it's true. Point is, though, that if this man can do it, you guys can do it, <laughs> okay? This is actual Ryanair share price. Um, the red arrow is when they started to implement that, and I'm sure it's not the only factor in their share price, of course, but it is interesting that that's, uh, that's the point at which they decided to, to do it. Mm -hmm.